Well, we've been working on this L39 Kubota backhoe up here at school and uh, making a mechanical thumb for it. Uh, or manual or ever how rigid thumb, ever how you want to say it. But um, got it set up for three different adjustments. Um, got a good heavy duty thumb with some teeth on it. All this is out of three quarter steel. Welded to flux core primarily. There's a few welded the pins in and bu there are bushings in with uh, solid wire, but most of us dual shield flux core. But it'll unpin here and take this link out, fold it up, it pin back in into that spot, which I'll put some pictures in here of that set up um, in the video. But it works good. Heavy duty, I think it'll hold up for him. Um, I made some cardboard templates to as patterns for most of it. And um, in case they ever have to make another one for somebody, we'll be able to. But I'll add several pictures in. I'll try to get some video here after a while. Once the students get over here, I'll get one of them to video me uh, actually using it a little bit. And, uh, demonstrate it for you. All of this uh, thumb, it was freehand cut with a torch. I didn't have any bits big enough to drill the holes and things. It'd been nice to have some uh, drill bits big enough to, to drill those, but I didn't have it. Um, I didn't get any video of the process of building it just because of the privacy of the students working on it. And um, the bushings that the pins go through, they are inch and a half pipe, uh, schedule 40 pipe, and then it's inside of, uh, welded inside of some two inch drill steel um, to give it extra strength and rigidity. Um, we also made, you'll see in the last picture, a, a holder for the stiffening link um, for the thumb, so when the thumb's folded up, that uh, you can store the uh, the link on the backhoe and have it with you anywhere you go. Also at the end, um, I'll have a little video of using, after these pictures, a video of using the thumb. And then um, there's another little project that we worked on following that that I'd like for you to stick around and watch. We also built this ripper. Um, it's gonna be used for Little League Baseball. And they originally wanted me to weld teeth onto the blade, and I didn't wanna do that. Um, so we made these brackets um, to where it'll hinge, and it sort of like works like a root rake on a dozer. 
So when it's pulling forward, it pushes back against the blade to rip with. And then if they want a back blade, they can set it down and it'll fold forward and they can back blade the smooth ground or they can unpin it and take it off. Um, I thought that would work out good that, and that's all hardened steel and stuff too. So it shouldn't be under wire out, especially with this little uh, 1210 forward. But um, I just hated to ruin a scraper blade by welding teeth on it. So I thought we'd make them removable and kind of make it multi-use, multi-purpose. But uh, I think that'll work out nice.